The first thing that we need to have in order to repeat the header for the entire data set that we have is to have a data set itself. And it doesn't matter what type of data that you want to use. I'm using here a sales report. And let's say I want to repeat the first row to all the pages in the printable area. So if I press here, Control P, I can have access to the printable area. And as you can see, I have one page of 43. I'm in the first page right now. But if I change to the second page, I lost the reference. I lost the titles. I lost the headers. If I want to keep the headers for all the different pages, let me come back to the spreadsheet. And then I'm going to select page layout and then print titles. With this option, I'm going to select rows to repeat at top. And then I'm going to click in this upper arrow. And I'm going to choose the rows that I want to repeat. Or I'll select just the first one because it's just the first one that I want to keep for all the pages. And then down arrow again. And then OK. So i done. If I press again Control P, as you can see, now all the different pages in this printable area is going to be visible for me throughout all the different pages. And if I actually print this sheet, I'm going to be able to see the headers like I'm seeing here. Okay, so this is how we can do it. But uh, let me show you another example that is, and if I have more than just one row, let's say I'm going to insert here a couple of different rows, and then I'm going to create a custom header so with information such as report, one, two, three, ABC. And then I want to input here the date and also the month, let's say. I'm going to select all of those two first rows, font tab, put everything in bold, and also change the font to white and change the background color to a blue one. I'm going to select the report 123ABC, select a couple of more cells, and I'm going to choose merge and center like this. And I'm going to also increase the size of the font. Now it's much better. Let me select the headers of my data set. And also we're going to click again in home, put everything in bold, change the font to white and change the background to this blue one. And let's say now I want to repeat instead of just one specific row, such as the row, the fourth row, I want to repeat the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. So the four first rows I want to repeat in all the pages that I'm going to have. So I'm going to again go to the page layout, print titles, and I, in this option, rows to repeat at top, I'm going to click in this upper arrow. I'm going to choose the first, second, third, and fourth row. I'm going to click here, OK, and I'm done. If I press Ctrl P again, as you can see, now this new header that I added before is going to be kept for all the different pages that I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's very simple to create a repeatable header in printable sheets in Excel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.